wanasifiwe wa mama na tena wa dada wa Mothers Union. Jina langu ni Winnie Jenga na mimi nimeokoka na nampenda Yesu kama Kristo na mwokozi wa maisha yangu. This morning we as women have gathered together um, in this meeting to progress the ministry of Mothers Union in the church, in the family and in the nation. And to that extent, mothers have a very central role in the well-being of society. And it's an honor for Mothers Union members to be able to answer God's call in building capacity of the family, of individual family members, and indeed of the society. Increasingly, there has been need for the youth in our nation to be empowered so that we can have the young men and women away from the streets, from the shop corners in the villages, and doing something productive. And it is towards this end that Wild International today comes to speak on the topic of entrepreneurship as a ministry, empowering the woman to empower the family and the nation. This morning, I am reminded of the call of the Lord Jesus Christ, that if your neighbor is hungry, do not tell him, be well, be clothed, be warm, but rather do something about it. And there's a place where mothers can do that. As mothers, we are nurturers of the nation. And if the Lord provides for us an opportunity to raise the potential, economic potential of our family members and of the children of society, I think we will have a better, stronger, economically vibrant society as well as spiritual, which is our core function as the Ministry of Mothers Union. And so today, Wild International comes to share with us as members of Mothers Union, to share with you especially as the leadership because you drive the direction that the ministry will take in this nation. So Wild International comes today to talk about the subject of entrepreneurship. They have been involved in turning around at least 140 companies um, from individual ideas, some of them, others uh, organizations that are just new into entrepreneurship and positioning them for global excellence in a way that is sustainable and that economically empowers the owners. And what a blessing it would be if they would transfer that same knowledge to us as the Ministry of Mothers Union, specifically to you as leaders, so that you can find nuggets and a long-term engagement in which we can build the economic potential of women, build the economic potential of their families, build economic potential of the societies in which they operate, of the parish members, of the individual members of Mother's Union, of the various Mother's Union ministries throughout the Anglican Church. The Anglican Church is huge in this nation. And the Anglican Church has a place of significant influence in leadership in this nation. My prayer and my desire, my sisters and my mothers in the Lord, is that we would take up this role very, very passionately and see how we can position ourselves to build our capacities to influence and turn around the lives of others spiritually, socially and economically and become an authority in this nation to have a say where when we stand it is said that is Mother's Union. They have done this. They have made a difference in society. Indeed, we must listen to what they have to say about issues. So please join me in inviting the Managing Director of Wild International, Mr. Jora Mwinamo, to give us some nuggets of how we can build our capacities and be the influence for Jesus in this nation. May the Lord bless you in your meeting. May the Lord increase you for the work you have done. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and continually be gracious to you. I thank God for you and for the leadership of this nation. I thank God for you, Mama Roda, for having taken the courageous and bold step to have this initiative um, raised to this level uh, and, and hence the reason why this morning we sit to be equipped. We sit together at the feet of Jesus for the sake of the cross and for the sake of society. May God bless you and richly reward all your efforts throughout your meeting. 
Thank you and God bless you.